Hello, it is 3 o'clock in the morning in Massachusetts time and we are on our way for another vacation. We're going to Hawaii today. It's going to take all day. We're heading to our flight. Our flight leaves at 6 a.m. And then we're flying to Hawaii. Not direct. We have a layover somewhere. But we should be landing in Hawaii at 3 o'clock, which is 9 o'clock Massachusetts time. So it's a little bit of a time difference. But I'm very excited to take you guys along. And welcome to Hawaii. We just arrived a few hours ago. We checked into our hotel. It is gorgeous. And these are our rooms. And I'll show you guys the view. We have our two beds. And then over here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Ready? Look. Look at how beautiful. You can see all the surfers out there in the boat. Down there and then this is Waikiki my family's out for a walk right now they're going to Walmart running some errands and I was feeling pretty tired because I worked yesterday and traveling today so I'm just gonna go get ready for bed it is I think 11:30 at home and here it's what five o'clock four o'clock and I have work to do tomorrow so I will be heading to bed early, getting that done, and then hopefully eventually over the course of the week I will adjust to the hot time zone, but oh my god, I just, I can't get over the view. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm gonna zoom in on the servers. There's so many of them. Hello, good morning. It is now Monday. I'm talking quietly because my family is inside sleeping, so I don't even know if you can hear me very well. But it is. 5 30 in the morning i've been up since three just watching youtube videos in bed with my headphones in trying not to wake anybody else up and yeah this time difference is gonna be quite difficult to overcome but i'm gonna just stay out here get some homework done i think i have a class at 6 30 here 12 30 at home um i might pop into that i said i wasn't gonna go to any classes this week because of the time difference but i'm up so Today is a spring break day. I don't have class today. I was fully prepared to go to class. Today was the only day I was fully prepared to go to class because today is the day that I'm all jet lagged and on the wrong time zone. But NYU gave us the day off today, so I don't know why I'm getting ready to go to class. It's already getting lighter out. Sunrise is supposed to be in 30 minutes and I'm hoping the sun rises on this side, but I don't really know if the sun rises or sets over here because I don't know what side of the island I'm on. The surfers are already heading out. 
they weren't there 10 minutes ago and now they're all starting to head out to the waves. Also, someone's cooking food and I'm starving because I've been up since 3 o'clock in the morning and it's now, I don't even know, 11 o'clock at home? Five, it's 6 o'clock here, 1, 2, 3, no, it's 12 o'clock at home. Yeah, I haven't had breakfast. I'm so hungry. But, oh my gosh, I'm going to show you this view so many times. I'm so sorry. I enjoy it so much. Pineapple juice, had breakfast, and now we might go down to the pool. We are trying to find some place called Mermaid Cave. We've been friends here before, and we don't know where we are, but it should be fun. Stretching. They have sun right here. Found some coral. Look at all this lava. Pretty crazy. There's our car all the way back there. There's a crab in there. I don't want to fall. All coral that we're walking on. I guess this is the the mermaid thing. It looks kind of scary. I really don't want to fall. Is there another there one over go. here? I think so. decided to go into the mermaid pool. I am so hot and gross. We changed into our swimsuits and are heading over. I'm a little nervous because there's a lot of waves and sharp rocks, but we're going to try it. And I don't think I can get any video because water and stuff in my camera is not waterproof, not but I'm going to tell you guys about it after. Elizabeth, what did you think of the mermaid pool? Mm. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. What was it like under there? So the current was pulling in both ways. So we went in the mermaid caves and there was rocks on all sides of us and the tide kept pulling us in and out and smacking us against the rocks and I got a little cut on my side. Battle scars. I'm not even a water person very much so that was a lot for me. I don't like being flung around underwater but it was cool when we were down there but as soon as we were down there we saw this little like pocket of light and Elizabeth and I both ran to it really really fast. Yeah, it stuck our heads up. We had to up. be lifted up out of it. <laughs> yeah, we had to climb ourselves out. We did not want to go back the way we came. No, I was so out of breath. Couldn't breathe. I was standing up top like... <gasps> <gasps> Elizabeth, would you recommend it? Um, I probably wouldn't do it again, but I'm glad I did it. Mm -hmm. So I would probably say you should do it. I would try it at low tide. If you're good at surviving current. If you're, if you're a large and strong person. Yeah. Not a tiny, small person <laughs> who gets pulled. Back and forth yeah. the waves. 
I really thought we were gonna get another concussion. I was like, this is it for another? us. You did well, not. you get you get another concussion. Me get a concussion. Just get my head banged in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dukes for dinner and I'm very hungry. Good morning, today is Tuesday and we are going to visit our new house in Hawaii which is the reason that we came to Hawaii because we bought a new house and we all wanted to visit it and this is my look for today and I'm kind of proud of it. I have a little silk scarf that I've actually never worn because I got it before COVID and it's been COVID. And it matches my green shirt, which we thrifted last week. And then I'm all white. Right there in the green is my dad surfing. So let's see if he gets this. Our house is somewhere over there. And I'm just chilling right here. <laughs> You don't think you can handle it? I can handle it. I don't think you can handle it. It is no longer the largest cordon maze in the world. Okay, you stand telling Unfortunately. You
We are going to the Alani Disney Resort for dinner tonight. Very excited, been waiting for this for nine years. Came here when it was under construction and I'm excited to see what it all looks like. How is it? <laughs> Do you feel the wellness? <laughs> Nothing can survive with the wellness shot. What would you smell it? Because I want to know what it smells like. No, because then you're not going to taste it. It's not that bad. It's a little spicy. Oh, good. No, it's not good. But it's not horrible. I feel healthy. You feel healthy? I do. Why? Because it's healthy. I feel like it might burn away everything. <laughs> my dad try to surf. The waves are a lot bigger today than yesterday, so we're gonna see if he gets any. We are adventuring up the pillbox trail. It says it's very strenuous. I'm a little nervous. I didn't do well on our last hike. <laughs> my legs were killing me. But it's supposed to be really pretty at the top. Pillbox. This is a gun emplacement they had for in World War II because they were afraid of the Japanese invading. Uh huh. So they had guns in here and pointed out to sea. Mm -hmm. so these bushes would have been cut down so they could see where they're where they're doing. Wow.
walked backwards up the hill. <laughs> Surfing. Oh yeah, there's the green one. When I was Where's our house? See the oh, green yeah. one? Oh yeah, I see it, yeah. It's like two or three down. Yeah. Wow. I'm living in the lap of luxury right now, eating this burrito in bed.